Hello everyone, this is the Bogdan Just Play channel and this is the first part of the series of guides for my favorite champion of the League of Legends and of course we talk about Evelyn. The first part is devoted to a detailed review of her skills. I wanted more people to play for Evelyn and at the same time play correctly. Even if you have already tried to play her, you may not be aware of some of things I am going to talk about. The video is detailed, but Evelyn is definitely worth of such attention. Because this is the S plus tier jungler and if you can master it, then your opponents will be burned with agony and you will get from it pleasure. And so to the main. Evelyn is a magician assassin playing to her in the jungle. Range type is melee, it costs less than 2k blue cents. She has a very high damage, but at the same time she has little HP. First is our passive demon shade, the most fun passive among all. Open after level 6. After 4 seconds of not attacking or using abilities, give you invisibility, but you can see it coming close, tower and pink wards are also make you invisible. If you standing in a bush and there is no ward, of course you will not be seen. One of the main features of passive is its regeneration. In the jungle you will not even lose HP, because while you passing between spots you will regenerate everything. In the late game your health will most likely always be full. Alien heal herself for from 15 to 75 HP based on level every second. If you in your invisibility get tower hit or champion hit, invis end and put on cooldown for 1.5 seconds. One interesting thing how you can juke enemy. If you press recall you can even go to the invisibility and enemy can think you go to base, but you don't. Next, the Q, Head Spike. Directional skill gives 44 damage and you can recast this 3 times. It will give priority to the champion or the one you hit with the first hit. If you miss it the first, there is nothing to worry about. You can still shoot at the nearly target. Next, Allure, our charm, W, a very cool skill. If the mark is fully charged, you charm target for 2 seconds. The target will receive additional damage as well, as its magic resistance will decrease by 25% or more depending on the level. Casting Allure does not break damage shade. It is used both in the jungle and on the ganks, but you can scare off the goal, do not throw it at once, but wait for the right moment. If you fight 1v1, wait until your heart is full, if not you will only slow down the target and then the fight too. It is advisable to wait until the charm is foiled to the end. Also if it was full and you hit the target, you return the mana spent on it. Many will wait for the charm and think that if there is no W above them, they are safe, so if you are upset, kill opponents without W. In such cases, throw it during the cast of other skills to slow down the target. I have a little trick for charm 2. If your target has shield like Sivir shield or Banshee, you can press W, then use your smite to broke shield and then easily charm your target. Further our E, Visplash. I would say this is PvP skill gives a very large damage. If you are in invis, your dashes to the goal and at the same time all other opponents that stand in front of way also receive damage. Also, if you use E, you get 30% bonus move speed for 2 seconds. And if you activate your diamond shade, E reset cooldown. Warning, if you get pushed by dragon or Lulu ultimates, when you press E, it goes on CD but damage won't pass. And so, our ultimate, last crash, is used to achieve a goal or a group of goals. There are a lot of variation of use, you can even use it as a flash. It was convenient of tower diving, just an escape because you can jump over the wall. Helps to steal a baron or dragon. In general, I usually try to keep it for a right moment. Don't forget you have bonus damage when your target is low HP. 
First part is over. The next video will be about runes for Evelyn, what you need to take and why. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like it if it was useful. If I missed something, write about it in the comment. Also, if you have question or want to see a practical gameplay on you, I will be glad to see you on my stream. The link to my Twitch channel will be in the description under this video. Have fun with your games and see you soon.